Hi, Ewan. How are you? Okay, thank you. Are you excited that in less than two months you'll be playing at the Euros? Yeah, of course. I think everybody in Iceland is, is excited. This is the first time uh, Iceland in football has reached a, a big tournament, so every, everybody's excited. But I try to think not too much about it uh, because I need to concentrate concentrate on uh, on Charlton. And uh, yeah, if, if you think too much about it, you get too excited. I think so. I'll try to not think about it too much. Is it something you dreamed about? Or? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think every every football player would. Would like to play in a big tournament for their country, and then and, and in the summer I have the chance to do that. So obviously that's a dream, dream come true. You're in the group together with Portugal, Austria, and Hungary. Yeah. What do you think about the group and the teams? I mean, I think it's a good group for us. I mean, uh, there are definitely more tougher groups in the, in the Euros than than we had. So I think it's a good draw for us. But every team in in the competition is a good team, so we we have to be careful. Portugal is always is. Yes. Great players and uh, Austria, good players as well. Uh, so, well, we I think we have hopefully we have the best team, and uh, that's the most important thing. You, you, it's not yet eleven individuals; it's, a, it's about the team, and uh, we have a we have a great team. So, we bond really well together. So, hopefully, that will be be our advantage in in, in the summer. Some people would believe that you're the underdogs in the European Championships. What is your opinion? Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, as I said before, this is our first time we've reached the, the Euros and or a big tournament in football, so obviously we are going to be underdogs. Not many people think of Iceland as a big football footballing country. I mean, only 300, 320,000 people live in Iceland, so it's a really small island. So obviously we're going to be called underdogs, but well, that's no problem for us. For us, we're just going to go under the radar and uh, hopefully do some damage. Good news is back in the national team. What experience does he bring to the team? Uh, obviously, huge experience. He's played in in biggest games in the world. So he's played in the El Clasico. I think doesn't get many, much bigger than that. So I mean, he's done it all, and uh, it's obviously great for us young lads uh, are in the team now. He's going to help us a lot in the in in the summer, and uh, he's uh, still a good, great footballer. He's so good on the ball still. So he's going to help us a lot, and his experience. He's a good guy as well. So. That's going to help us in the summer, definitely. Do you think the wins against the, the Netherlands would help you in a big game, like the one against Portugal? Yeah, definitely. I think we learned a lot from uh, from playing Holland twice, and we learned how we should play against the bigger teams that are going to have the ball more than us. Uh, so we learned that we have to stick together as a team, we have to stay really compact, and then try to nick a goal or two as we did against Holland, so I think that's, that experience is definitely going to help us uh, in the summer. Obviously, as you mentioned, it's your first uh, big uh, championship. Um, by qualifying to the European Championship, you wrote history. What more can we expect from Iceland? I mean, it's tough to say. Well, obviously, we wrote history by going there. That's, uh, that's uh, was our aim. Well, that was our target. So now we need to set our new targets. So obviously, the target is going to be go out of the group. I mean, I think in four groups out of six, three three teams go through. So that's a big chance to go through. I think that's that's our target, and everything after that is just a bonus. Okay. You almost qualified for the World Cup. How did it feel losing against Croatia? In the second match, uh, it was probably the worst moment of of my career in, in football, and I think I can speak for for everybody in the team. It was, it was tough to take because we also knew uh, that in that game, second game, we didn't play as well as we can. So you always go go out of the field with a regret, and that's what we did. We didn't play to our standards, and that's that's something that's really sad about it. But as I said, we. We didn't crumble. We, we kept going in the in the Euro Euro qualifier, and we, we went to the Euro. So that's obviously nice. Is this something which made you stronger and made you look forward? Yeah, I think it definitely as a team it made us stronger, and uh, uh, we were more hungry. I think to to reach our goal to go to a big tournament. So maybe obviously you don't want to say, it, but maybe it helped us to become a better team. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. No problem.